pouring. So I, I had to weigh down the, the rototiller to get to get it to dig better. So I strapped this uh, five quart oil can on using the uh, tow strap and tie down strap. Just jerry rigged it together. Um, it ain't pretty, but it worked. So this got done putting chicken wire around the whole entire garden except for the tomatoes. Chickens have been in for f like three or four days. I forget now. I lost count. They've been in chicken coop for so long. Oh. It's probably too late in the day for them to come out. Their, their water gets all clogged with dirt when they do dust baths. Um, so now they can finally get out and drink their normal water. Uh, Joel was helping me, uh, my brother-in-law Joel was helping me put up the chicken wire on the gates. I made uh, four gates, one, two, three, and then four. He's over there working on it. He's over there working on the last one, putting the chicken wire on. I got the entrance there and then these guys have their door I think they want to come out because it's been four days let me get this one we get a bigger wider view here I left the herbs out exposed so the chickens might disturb the herbs but that's the way it went okay and I learned that you want to put your cross member downside on the hinge and the upside on the, the handle. But, uh, The chicken was just trying to get in there. They climbed, flew up there. They're pissed because they can't go in the garden. But it was like, it was like caught, kind of caught in like a fish in the net up there trying to get in. So there's probably going to be that. But look at this. Sharp. It's like a, around a prison. It's like barbed wire around a prison here. And tried to extend the chicken wire as high up as possible so that they won't fly in. They could probably figure out. Look at there. They're like raptors trying to find probe the perimeter here they're trying to figure out because they, they know they can't get in there this one
corn patch. Little babies. So I went and got a bunch of herbs. Um, did it up in an herb garden real good. This is the only one I didn't get. This is a volunteer from uh, last year or the year before. And transplanted that into the pot to match the rest of them. So got orange mint, chives, tarragon, rosemary, dill, sage, lavender. And then I got some uh, cilantro up there. Some cilantro. Uh, we had extra. And over in that bed, we got some spare, um, uh, not asparagus, artichoke, and peppers, green bell pepper, green bell pepper, green bell pepper, hot Thai pepper, like a skinny kind that's hot, and another hot one, the habanero. And then we go on to red bell pepper, red bell pepper, red bell pepper. And then you got the uh, cucumber, watermelon, zucchini, and cantaloupe. Those are like the first, the start of the melon patch, but. The whole thing is going to be filled in later with pumpkins. Pumpkins later. And then there's there's the the old growth or oregano that I, I stole from. And then this is a, the getting the seed flats and pots filled area. It's all they got all these pots to um, fill up with dirt. And this is a the dirt station. It's got this cover. It's got a rain cover. Um, as we enter the chicken proof garden, well, this is the only bed we didn't finish. <laughs> well, second, there's two beds we didn't finish. But, um, nothing's planted here except for at the end, there's the cilantro. And we got broccoli. And there's volunteer potatoes in and throughout. We just let wherever they look successful, we just left them. Um, and then peas in the middle. All along, we, there's peas and uh, string for it to climb. And let's see. Well, there's, oh, and then there's a garlic bed. We just kind of, oh. And then these are all the tomatoes. There's 10 tomato plants. And. They're all this really big, let's see, the big one, the big round kind. Because they fit on sandwiches and burgers, and then whatever you don't use for the burgers and sandwiches, you use for sauce. Make sauce in bulk. Um, there's ivy. We just kept the ivy here and there for decoration. See, there's ivy up on the fence. Um, ivy, not good, but it looks cool. Then we got beets. These are all beets all the way down. And uh, so we got some space, you know, though, all those beds and these that still need to be planted. Got a lot of seeds grown and flat still. And then our, the pond. I'll, I'll take you through here, the through the, the tomato garden here, fly by. I guess the last garden that this this year is right here and look at that it's just three foot tall weeds and down here we got the toys we still gotta get the toys spread out the tractors this, 
garden for 2022 has been pretty much planted. We just got some seeds in the in the window right there. 